had love with Pat's two cents. I thought I was done. And God dropped a bomb in my head just now of something that happened. This was real close to home to somebody I loved very much because they would not listen. This is again, lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. Now, sometimes God speaks through people. And this was a warning my mother had. Now, my mother had that little sixth sense, so to speak. God would give her a warning. She would see it happen, and she would see it right before it, maybe a day or so before it happened, and bam, it happened just like she saw it. Well, whatever she saw, she didn't tell my father, but she kept warning him. Buddy, that was his nickname. Don't get up on that ladder. You have to stop getting on the ladder unattended. When you get on the ladder, call me, call Patty, call a neighbor, but don't keep getting up there with that ladder unattended. Things can happen when you don't have somebody to stable, you know, to stabilize that ladder. And you're getting too old to take those chances. Now that's a warning that you may not want to hear because you've been self, you know, you know, self-reliant all you like. But things change as you get older. And God uses people to warn you and me. So listen, as a result, my father didn't want to hear it. He literally didn't want to hear it. He figured here goes Edith with her worrying self again. And he ignored that gift didn't really respect the gift. He was just too busy trying to get something done with the antenna on the roof. He climbs up on the ladder. Mama doesn't know it. She's on the phone talking. I'm in the bed sleep. And all of a sudden, me and my mother, you know, we're rattled. And she and I hear all this banging and bumbling and bam. We're like, what? And then thud. Well, what it was, was the ladder sliding sideways off the side of the roof while my father had just climbed both feet on it. And there was nothing for him to grab a hold to. He had to go down with the ship. And as a result, when the ladder went down, then he went down and he hit the side of his head cracked his skull. He had a skull fracture. He was bleeding out of his nose and his ear. My mother knew exactly what that meant. She told him to stay put. She told me to get a blanket. We covered him. She called 911. The ambulance came, took him straight to the hospital. He was in that hospital for weeks on end. They called the family in thinking that my father was going to die. But God said no. Because I had a neighbor next door, thank God, for my neighbor. I used to refer to her as my annoying next door neighbor. Thank God for my neighbor. She prayed my father through when the rest of us weren't saying a word to God. My father survived. He was 80 years old, you guys. They brought him home after three or four weeks of craziness. And when they brought him home, no, let me take that back. Yeah, yeah, they brought him home. And he was really out of it, really out of it for a while. I take that back, he was 79. Anyway, numbers don't matter, but he, he was up there. And uh, in great shape, great physical shape. This is what ended up happening. God took something bad and turned it around for my father's good. But what happened was he had to pay a price. His health went down. Excuse me. And as a result... It took him a long time to recover. He was never the same after that. He was able to walk and he was able to get around, but he was not quite the same. 
and then after about six months his body went into overdrive and he ended up his whole system went out of whack and he had to be rushed to the hospital uh, he was acting really strange his sugar was way up high his blood pressure was way up high I mean he was just getting ready to blow a fuse and we caught it in time and during the two months that my father spent in the hospital and in the uh, in the rehab God was preparing me to take care of my father and he saved my soul I took care of my father when he came home. Two days after he came home, he woke up in his right mind. And two weeks after he saw the change in me, he gave his heart to the Lord right at the living room table. And for the first time in my life, my father and I went to church together. And my mother by then had moved, and moved with uh, her son and his wife, moved up to Fairfields. She just wanted to know what it was like to have her own place. She never lived alone. And she was ready for a change. So that's what she did. But I'm telling you, God did something beautiful with me and my father. However, he spent the rest of his life in a wheelchair. I had to take care of him, change him, clean him, mm -hmm, till he died. But I tell, and he was no longer diabetic. God <coughs> worked miracles. <coughs> the diabetes thing, it went away. The blood pressure leveled out. No more problem. It was a result of, of the damage. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry. But I'm telling you, that was the price he had to pay for ignoring my mother's wisdom. Don't be so grown. Don't think so much of yourself. Don't think you have it all together because you don't, baby. God will use a child to tell you when you're stepping sideways. She'll tell you when you're getting out of bounds. If you have an ear to hear. You hear what I'm saying? Don't be so hell-bent on doing it your way. Some of you are going to suffer because you're so hard-headed. Please, humble yourself under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you. Don't, don't put yourself in a position where life has to humble you and bring you down. You don't want to have to be broken down to be humble. Please, pay attention. Humble yourself. Don't be hard-headed. Somebody out there is being hard headed they don't want to hear it old young or extremely young you don't want to hear it and if you don't watch it it's going to be your downfall then you'll be bitter and you'll be mad at the very people who advised you that you didn't listen to but they're not the ones to be mad at as michael jackson used to say Look at the man in the mirror, baby. That's the one you're to be angry with because you refuse to take instruction. You refuse to take heed to wisdom. Now, God is trying to stop you from getting seriously hurt. Listen, while you have your faculties to listen with, it's your warning.